Oh. <laughs> well, this is an interesting problem. Well, that's a large merchant. Interesting. Do I? No. I can't. Maybe I can. Yeah, this is happening. This is a bad idea. As usual. Him locked. I think that that's a large merchant. That's a pretty distinct profile. Even head on, I think that, that they've got a easy profile, I guess. Derp. The water is pretty smooth, though, so this might be kind of a job. Let's just look around and see if there's anybody else around. Even crippled, even wounded still hunting. Okay. Now, let's see what the status of our engine is. Oh, these guys need to be swapped out. Speaking of which. Um, let's look at that real quick. It just says not working. I mean, it doesn't even give me any, any information about what, whether or not I can fix it. So, um, let's swap him in. There. I'm going to put us at periscope depth. No, wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> the reason I'm not is because I can't move underwater. Because the starboard electric engine simply isn't working, so... This is not good. Why was it giving me updates before? I'm just gonna put these stupid chiefs on there. I'm one sad panda, you guys. I don't think we'll be able to fix this. Fortunately, we're fairly quiet with just one engine running, so I guess there's a bright side? Alright. He's probably going to cross pretty well in front of us, so actually I may just dive anyways. I want to get that engine working, though. It's going to be interesting to see how slowly we dive. Actually, that wasn't too bad. We're gonna have our hydrophone guy follow the nearest contact. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not so smart. <laughs> yeah, he's coming pretty much right down the line here. So. Um, here's what we do. We'll just see if we can get some power out of the engines. I don't think we can. Crap! <laughs> yeah, we're totally dead in the water with, um, without these engines working. It just says not working four minutes and it doesn't ever increase or decrease. Words. Okay. Good God. Okay, let's just try and do this then. <coughs> He's so freaking close. That's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> this is a totally kind of a futile effort because even if I can line up a shot on him the angle that he's at the torpedo could just bounce off now one way I can prevent that from happening possibly is to use a magnetic pistol which may help but 
I don't know for sure. He's Polish. Actually, you forgot Poland. Oh my god. He's turning, I think. I think he can see us. Yeah, that's right. Frachter auf zwei, vier. Kommt näher. Um, how fast are you going, sir? Why don't we just shout and ask how fast he's going? Jeez. Okay, sure. This draft is nine. To hell with it. Time's up. Let's do this. Leroy Torpedo. Boy, I'm going to be really embarrassed. Actually, I already am embarrassed. What did that end up firing on? About 10 degrees? Let's see if we can track our torpedo here. There it is. It's one of the Type 2's, so it's got no wake. Um... Let's see if we can actually watch this from below. Oh! Oh, that's close! Oh, right in the pooper! <laughs> um, I don't know if that knocked out his propeller or anything, but that was kind of fun anyways. He's still going. Jerk. You're making me do this. Yeah, it still says four minutes. I don't know why I'm wasting the effort there. I guess the difference... Well, I guess there is no real difference between not working and destroyed. I thought that there was. Maybe I need somebody who specializes in damage control to be able to fix something that's listed that way, but... Either way, I'm... I'm shared. I'm happy, though, because I just hit something, which is... Ridiculous under the circumstances. It's ridiculous under any circumstances for me to hit anything usually. Um, gee, I don't know which target should you guys hit. It's kind of. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, we're getting some waves. Fantastic. Alright. See if my gunner can actually earn his keep now. Now that we're, you know, within a click of the enemy ship here. I'm actually gonna slow us down too. He's landed a couple of good hits from what I saw, so that's good. I'm thinking the waves must be too hard to work in here. ship sounds like it's breaking up a little bit. We just heard some metal coming. He's doing a pretty good job. I have to say, we're at a fairly... Well... I was going to say that we were rotating pretty much at the exact rate that he was going in front of us. It's kind of ridiculous that we're even shooting at this guy, but like I say, I'm pissed off. <laughs> well, I'm sad. I'm not pissed off. Right in the butt. Nicely done. Wow, he's hitting him with every single shot. Okay, I take back all the mean things I said about you, sir. He's doing okay. This 
guy's gonna try to outrun us and he might just. <laughs> he's got some fires on deck though, so I don't think that he's gonna make it too long. And what, if I start seeing him sink by the stern, I'll just go ahead and leave him alone. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> I'm really punishing this guy. I think I've hit him with about 40 rounds. So I think I'm going to actually go ahead and leave him alone. Tell my watch officer to stop the party. Damn it. Oh, she's going down. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Excellent timing. Okay. So, despite being damaged, um, we've just sunk another 10,000 pound, 10,000 ton ship, rather. Not bad. Um, we'll see if that is something that ends up causing us problems later on because we've lingered here and it is now daylight and we are well within the RAF's range and it is bright out. So, yeah, I don't know if that was uh, really a very good idea. But regardless, we did it and we got some tonnage. So let's just hope that we live and that we can get out of here. We just sighted an aircraft. I didn't see it, but... This is a crash dive is going to be interesting because we can't move with any sort of speed once we, uh... Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> he just like, uh, warped in there. That's incredible. Um, we're not going to be able to put out any speed once we're under. And indeed, getting under is going to take us a while. So I, I'm pretty sure that he's going to see us. Um... Oh boy. Let's go to the plane that I can see. He doesn't look like he's coming in for an attack. Yet. But we'll stay under for quite a while. Hopefully we don't bottom out like we did before. That was slightly embarrassing. Okay, now wait a minute. I said 32. That's not 39. Stop diving. Stop fucking diving. Oh, you piece of crap. Okay. See if that helps. That's more like it, okay. Yeah, you don't have to go that high up. It's just don't freaking dive us to the bottom of the ocean. It's quite deep here. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and say that that little plane didn't see us, um, fortunately. Because we're not moving. We're just stuck underwater right now. So, um... Oh wow, we've been under for a while too. Yeah, let's let's surface. <coughs> okay. So we evaded that despite our ship being crippled. That would have been really bad though if he had seen us. I mean that that's like a nightmare scenario for a U-boat. To not be able to move and have a plane flying around over the top of you is pretty bad. But fortunately we got under, and a little bit further under than I wanted us to go, so we're okay. Go us. Oh, let's look at this radio message, it's probably nothing. What the? Isn't that the same freaking... No, that's the one I sent. Shit. U-34, and then... U-30, wow, you're both low on fuel, congratulations. You don't know how to... You're not very green, you guys. Why don't you get a hybrid? Actually, these are hybrids, now that I think about it. Okay, we need to actually return to course. Because our ship has both diesel and electric. We're the Toyota Prius of the sea. Alright, enough of that. Uh, let's keep going and try not to die. Well, it looks like this patrol doesn't want to be over with yet. Got a contact heading west. 
And I think I'm going to take a peek, because we're just barely in RAF range. I don't think that they're going to give us too much grief. And we're going to increase our speed, too, because I don't know how fast did it say. Slow. So he's going a minimum or a maximum of eight. And we might dive, even though we can't move. He was heading west. We might move a little bit more on the surface. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we'll see if we can hear him. There we are. 83 degrees. Okay. So let's have our sound guy just keep on listening. What? You just heard him. Bearing 8-3. You are on crack! <laughs> Did that already disappear, or what? What the f- <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can see him now. Maybe that's the problem. He could be in our blind spot, I suppose. Yeah, no. My sound guy is just being a dick. It could be that he's tired, so... Nope. Oh, maybe it is. Let's swap him out. I had him backwards. Um, let's listen now. No contact. Give it a minute or two. Now try. <laughs> you... What the crap? <laughs> okay, well, here's what we're going to do then. Since nobody wants to be a team player... Uh, we're going to surface the boat, put a watch crew on there because freaking sound officers, deaf, both of them, and we'll see if we can actually just see them once they come by. Just give it a couple minutes. That's infuriating. I'm going to dive again, actually. Okay. So. Points. Or bearing 7-5. Let's see if he can hear him again. Constant speed and closing. That's good. So as those increase more rapidly, that's a good sign. I wonder if he can give me a range now. Long range still, that's okay. Ah, but we can see him, and he's neutral! Marvelous. Okay. Let's just head to the south then, on the surface. Unbelievable. Because we can't move underwater. That's kind of what submarines do. Okay. Get our watch officer on deck and see if he can see him. He can't. Okay. Well, we'll just putter south a, bit, a little ways and then return to course. I had a feeling he probably would be neutral, but it was still worth a look. Okay. And we should be good. We're returning to course. Well, despite my best efforts, we've made it home in one piece. Here we are in Willemshaven. Um, our port engine is completely destroyed, so we're probably going to be here for a while. Let's go ahead and dock and see what it says. My crew has earned promotions and medals. Of course, I did not. I wonder why. We were only out for 10 days, it looks like. That's not a very long patrol at all. But in that time, we sank... Uh, 20,000 tons of shipping, which is not bad, all things considered. And inexplicably, our hull integrity is 97.01. That is kind of hard to believe, because that one uh, depth charge hit was pretty close, and it knocked out our engines completely. 
so I don't know what that's about. Um, but due to the damage, I think we're probably going to be stuck here in Willemshaven for a bit. We might miss the... Um, well, I'm almost certain we're going to miss the uh, beginning of the invasion of Norway and uh, Denmark, but that's okay because there's other things on the horizon. Um, but yeah, I think a debrief is kind of in order um, for this particular patrol. I Let's see, I mean, let's go through the chain of events. I find the convoy, I overshot them, I didn't adjust my course correctly to um, get a good firing solution. When I Even when I realized that, I kind of didn't do anything about it. <laughs> and then the convoy went right over the top of me and I idiotically put my periscope up and I paid the consequences. So, several lessons there to be learned. Um, and with that in mind, I think I'm probably going to hold off on trying to sink an entire convoy with my deck gun. Just for the time being, until I get a little bit more acclimated to the non, uh, or the lack of the contact update feature. Because I've played with both, and it's just something that you get used to one way or the other. You're used to either it being there or it not being there. And uh, I'm not used to it not being there right now. So, uh, we'll have to account for that uh, going forward. Uh, get my bearings with that, as it were. <laughs> get my bearings. It's a pun. Yeah? Alright, whatever. Um... Yeah, this actually didn't end up as bad as I thought it would be, though, especially with regards to hull integrity. That's really not, um, probably not reflective of the actual damage we took. So, um, we made it out okay. Um, we'll probably be in Willemshaven until mid-April. So, yeah, we will miss the invasion, but there's other things, like I say, that are going to happen in the meantime. So, or not in the meantime, in the aftermath. Right? Right. Okay, so... Actually, let's see what the game says it is today. April 5th, yeah. Well, we could make it, actually. Um, depending on what Silent Hunter 3 Commander um, bumps the date out to be, it's entirely possible, because I believe uh, Visa Rubung, or whatever it's pronounced as, uh, starts on the 9th. So, if we really haul ass, we can get from Willemshaven to Bergen, or to one of the uh, Norwegian ports, and uh, cause a ruckus. So, maybe that's what'll happen. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna sign off. This patrol was a little bit of a disappointment, but I think I needed it. I think I needed to be humbled a bit, so... In that regard, it was a good patrol. Alright, well, I'm gonna sign off. This has been Effing Controller on a mediocre Patrol 7, and I'll start Patrol 8 sometime in the future here.